Hello, it is Friday and I'm always participating in the hashtag Friday Sews. However, this video is a continuation of the video that I posted on Tuesday. We're just gonna continue where we left off. Okay, so Karina asks, if you could only sew with one fabric or theme for the rest of your life, which would be like floral stripes, plaids, which would you choose? And that one, um, I love stripes, but I love florals. And I think I would go with florals all the way. Because when you think about florals, you think lots of color, and it could also be like black. I feel like florals would just go with anything. You could wear them with jeans. It can be fun, dressy. Uh, I just feel like florals are very versatile. Okay, by the way, you guys feel free to answer in the comments below some of these questions as well. And if you're agreeing with some of my answers, please just comment like, me too, because I feel like I'm like doing it, it, the videos like all about me and I want you guys to interact as well. Okay, so that now the next one is saying by Marie Matthews, have you ever made crazy quilt or something with that design? I think what you're saying is like where you just take your scraps and you don't have a pattern and you just do like fun scrappy things and yes I have done that so this quilt right here I did a long time ago and it's probably like a little bit stained but look at how beautiful the little squares are and I applicate this girl on here with a swing um I don't know I just love quilting I want to do a lot more quilting on my channel so stay tuned for that as well. So by the way, if you missed uh, Tuesday's video, these are questions that viewers had submitted, just kind of asking me just questions about myself. And so that's where I'm getting these questions from. And then Sonia put, do you like sewing with knits or woven? <sighs> that one, I'm sorry, I don't think I can answer that one because, well, no, I can answer that one. You know what? My favorite to sew with is got to be knits because it is so fast, so quick, and it fits you better because it's stretchy. But I do love wearing wovens. I, I think that they are so cute. They're a little bit more challenging to get to fit because they don't stretch or anything like that. But if I have to pick, I'm, I'm going to sew with knit. Okay, now Maria is also asking me, like, what kind of work do you do? So my day job, and um, without, I guess, giving too much information, I do work uh, in the human services department. We work with like a lot of families, and what I do is, well, I do a lot of training for the new employees that come in. I also do lots of, I work with numbers, and I'm doing lots of adjustments, and lots of problem solving. I have other workers, you know, that come to me and and I have to know the difference between like family law policies and federal law and what applies when and what law supersedes the other. It's fun though and it's challenging and it gives me a nice break for my creative side of my mind. I don't know if it's the right or the left side, but when I'm at work, you know, I'm really busy and engaged in work that I don't really think about my sewing and my creative part. And so it's actually a very good balance for me. I work eight to five and it's all about just work and I love my coworkers and it, we just have a lot of fun at work as well. And they don't really watch my channel so no it's not like I'm just saying that I really mean it <laughs> now I'm gonna touch a little bit more on the saving time when you're sewing but hold on let me let me address this one so this one is from mama Lance and she asks well which pattern do you like better which one should I sew first the Galena by little lizard King or the staycation by Ellie and Mac and I'm saying you know since we were talking about knits they're both knit patterns and this is the staycation dress but I made it in the tunic length and definitely this one was such a fast sew so I recommend sewing with the staycation first but don't miss out on the Galena because that's another favorite pattern as well and we have another question from 
Anna Lusamami. And it says, do you picture yourself sewing bags in the near future? Uh, yeah, I'm so glad that she asked that question because I'm going to make a bag, but this one is gonna be like more beginner friendly. You're probably gonna laugh at me and just be like, Delilah, that doesn't really count as a bag, but it does. So it's this quick sew pattern. I like how it has the contrasting fabrics that kind of meet there, that kind of meet there together in the middle. And I found this fabric. It's a like an outdoor canvas fabric. And this one I found from Joann's. So you can see it's kind of like a heavier material. And I really think that one is really fun. And so I'm thinking, but I'm not completely sold. Let me know what you think. I'm thinking of matching it up with this. It's like a velvet, but it's a stiffer, kind of like a corduroy almost. And I was thinking maybe doing that for spring, but I don't know if it clashes. I mean, I guess there's really only one way to find out. I'll just have to cut into it and see. Let me know if you are interested in seeing videos like that as well. Here I have by So Lulu Blue is asking, what is your favorite part of the sewing process? And that hands down is going to be the very last step of when I'm making a garment is hemming it. And that is because it's like, oh, I'm like almost at the finish line. That means that I've already tested the fit of it. It fits really well. I just have the one step left. So I just like attach on my rolled hem foot and I just feed it through the machine and then I'm done. Okay, and then I have one more tip about the saving time when it comes to sewing. Um, now, I will kind of think ahead. Anything that I can do that I'm not at my sewing machine, I will set aside. For example, I, I'll make the casings, like when I did this shirt right here, and I left all the feeding through the elastic for like later on in the day. Like I can go sit out on my porch and get some fresh air and do that while I am doing that. So I'm not like in my sewing room doing all that. Or in the evening, you know, I like to spend time with my family. Um, like if we're watching TV or something, I can't just like sit still. I have to have something. So I'll pull that out and that is something I can do while I'm watching TV. And so I'll get all my sewing stuff done in the morning. But this is my, these are my scrunchies is another example. When we went out of town, um, I took all these with me and I was able to pull them inside out, you know, while we were just like kind of hanging out in this, in the hotel room. And then like, if I'm at home and I'm like watching TV, that is when I will take the time and I will feed all the elastic through every single scrunchie. Uh, also, like I will do a lot of my pattern cutting. I took a whole bunch of these patterns when we went out of town and I was cutting them during our downtime. And so just kind of think about those things as you're sewing, um, even like if you need to put rubber band in a casing or if you are like pinning the bodice to the skirt, set that stuff aside for like later on in the evening. I don't know, does that make sense? Also with um, how I save a lot of time with sewing, I know it makes a huge difference that, I, difference that I have a sewing room and not everybody has a sewing room and that's okay. Just do what you can with what you have and maybe just kind of like plan ahead. But yes, I do also think that because I have a sewing room and I have everything laid out and ready to go at any downtime I have, that makes a huge difference. Okay, and then Sally Malmberg asks, I would like to know if, I would like to know some of your favorite patterns that you've sewn for your daughter. I have a granddaughter around the same age uh, for knits or wovens. Oh, and she is a local too. So thank you, Sally. It is Ellie and Mac, and I. that is where I go. They're a PDF pattern online fabric shop. That is where I go for PDF patterns for knits, okay? So it, for example, this is actually an Ellie and Mac pattern. This is the uh, staycation dress PDF pattern for me. I love the fit. I always get a great fit. And so I know we're talking about my daughter. And so for her, my favorite is the Sweetie Pie pattern dress. It's just 
two pieces that you cut out and then a neckband. Well, and then if you want the sleeves, you cut that out as well. And then it does like a twirly thing, but that one I've hacked into so many different things. So um, I just sometimes will cut the top off and then add some gathers to it. Another favorite of Ellie and Mac, they have a free pattern and it is the pajama pattern. I'm gonna put a link in my descriptions tab below. Uh, that one is an affiliate link, but I'm not just saying that because the of that. I actually really just love the fit of all of their patterns. So they also have a going home pattern that I've made for her. Uh, so yeah, I've made her the PJ ones, the going home pattern, and the sweetie pie pattern, but they have a lot of other really good patterns for kids. Now the other one that I love sewing for kids is Little Lizard King, and I actually have some right here of the Little Lizard King, and that one is for wovens, and they are so simple. Let me show you. I love fast and simple. This one is the Lorn pattern, and the top is just one uh, PDF, these are PDF patterns, and you cut out two for the lining. You don't need to attach a binding. How easy is that? So you cut out two pieces for the top, and then one for the bottom, or in in this case I did two because I did a tear, and then you're done. This is the closure in the back. How easy is that? No zippers, no buttons, but also the other one that I want to mention that I did with Little Lizard King is called the Amsterdam. This is the same thing where you have, you put the lining in and then you attach the straps right here. It's completely easy. This one you do have to attach elastic in the back and this one is a tunic length. The, I'm just getting some summer clothes ready for I'm just getting some clothes ready for her for summer. But the next one that I'm doing is, this is called the West Port. This one is a little bit more detailed. This one is the one that I made for her for Christmas. But look at that collar. I'm so excited because what I love about PDF patterns is they give you color step-by-step -step detail. I would have never been able to do this collar if I chose like a McCall's or Simplicity pattern. Um, this one I'm doing a little bit of my batch sewing for Easter, I'm making that one. What I suggest that you do when you have new patterns is cut out two different ones. So you have one that uh, you know might not be the most important one, but you can do your trial and error with that one. So for example, I have the Westport all cut out right here, and I'm doing two at the same time because I want to make sure I already forget like how to do the collar and stuff like that. So if you have like your practice non-important one push that through, see how it turns out, and then do one even better with the more important fabric that you have. Because I am gonna be making her an Easter dress, and I'll show you a sneak peek. This is the fabric that I'm going to be using. It is a Riley Blake Quilters cotton fabric, so it's a woven fabric. And so I love that. I, I Don't worry, I will show you. And then this is gonna be the lining, the inside of it, because this one I'm gonna make without sleeves. And so it's just gonna have a really cute lining, and this one is gonna have buttons going down um, the center of it, just, just like this one does. I will also put a link to the Little Lizard Kings website in the descriptions tab below. They are a little bit more pricey. I think they're like $9 for a pattern, but if you wait until they have a sale, they'll probably have a spring sale or like an Easter sale, you can um, sign up for their newsletter and then just kind of jump on buying those patterns at that time. I don't use the McCall's or Simplicity patterns for my daughter right now because she is really small. I think her chest is a 23 inch, but the smallest that they do, unless I get like a baby size, but the McCall's, they have so much in them, whenever I make them for her, they end up being huge. So when I look at the finished garment measurements, they don't even go down to her size. I would actually have to select a pattern that says that it's for babies to fit her. And I mean, they don't really, I don't really want to make a onesie for her when she is six years old. <laughs> okay, so I hope I didn't miss any questions. So if I missed any, then please leave me a comment below. You can ask me a question and I'll answer it there. I do have a question for you guys though. There's so many hashtag Friday sews vloggers right now. And so it's hard for me to keep track of them. 
But why don't you comment below if you come across a new channel that is like a really good favorite of yours, put that in the comments below so that I can go and check it out. And I do love to support new sewing channels because I was just that channel last year. And I also wanna thank Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room for bringing together the sewing community because I don't think my channel would have grown without the hashtag Friday Sews. So make sure you go and you visit everybody and just show them some support on their channel as well. So don't forget to hit that like button. And until next time, happy sewing. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.